Hello everyone, this is Anita White with Love Your Art, and as you can see, we're ready to get started. I have two 11 by 14 inch uh, canvases that are oval, and I painted over them, and I liked it at first, and then I decided, no, I didn't like it so much, so I was doing an abstract design, and I thought, well, you know what, let's do it again. Let's do it differently this time. I'm going to put some paint in both of these little cups, and I'm going to pour them um, onto that canvas. I'm gonna put some black in. This is Mars Black by Glycrylic. And I'm gonna put some silver by Artist Loft in. I'm also putting some copper. And this is uh, I believe this is Artist Loft Copper also. This is the Arteza Pearl Copper Gold. And I'm gonna put in my custom made champagne, which is the Artist Loft Old Gold. It's the Liquitex Basic Silver. It's also the Pearlized White combined. And then I'm gonna put in some Liquitex Basics Bronze. I should need to have additional paint. Oh, we'll put some old gold in there as well by Art Sloths. I shouldn't need additional paint because we've got our sides covered already, but we'll use what we have to try and get where we like to go. Let's put some black on top as well. Love to see black in our designs. Okay, so here we have it. I'm gonna take these beautiful cups, here they are, and use our flip cut method to flip and give each of these a chance to give us something different and hopefully uh, let's see if we can raise this up and drag it through giving that an opportunity to really bring out those beautiful colors as we can see them there. That's nice. So torch these. Put their bubbles out. And we'll move it around. Let that one sit. We'll move this one around and while that one is still forming. See what we can do to keep what we like and let that which we don't care for so much run on over the side. Go around and take this in a circular motion. That's really pretty. Bring it up. Again, we're looking for an abstract design, so what we can get out of this we hope will be something amazing. some of that on over. Good. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. I like it a lot better than what I had before. Okay, let's see if we pull that down a little bit more. And back to the middle. It's got all kinds of interesting uh, effects taking place. Silver is really doing a job on it. Move it back to the middle and over. Wow. It's different, really different. Nice different. Pull it down here a little more. 
some of that paint off because we've got quite a bit of paint on. There, get this to run off, get some of those effects to stay on. Uh, get that off of there. There. All right, those are really, really coming out, of, out nicely. Lots of effects. And you can't see it just yet, but we'll let it set down and take form. We'll take this one and whip and drag as well. Beautiful colors. Beautiful colors. You can see that silver and the copper and all of those gorgeous colors coming together. Well, we have to torch and we'll do that right away. You can see all of the activity taking place already. You can see how much of a difference we get in this one and we want to be careful to keep this from getting um, dripped on by this, this one here. So we're going to try and move it in a circular motion again, keeping what we want and eliminating what we, what, what we don't want. Trying to keep what we want, that is. Beautiful black. Lots of gorgeous cells here. Again, watching it to ensure that we don't drip onto the existing canvas. Want to keep some of that black in there, bringing all of that color out. Yeah, this is looking gorgeous. Really different. Okay, and we'll bring it down. See if we can't change directions here. And move it back a little bit. And maybe down. get some of that paint off because it's kind of loaded with paint. This is very pretty. Quite different from the other one. That's the beauty of a flip cup. You don't get the same thing. Even if you use the same colors, you're going to have a unique design each and every time. Separate and distinct from each other. That is pretty. Let's put this down and give it a rest. All right, I have to say I am pleased far more so than I was with what we had before. Definitely pleased. I will take my pattern brand stick around using it to wipe underneath so we can get excess paint off. These are going to look gorgeous with resin. And if you don't resin, you know, you can always use the, you don't have to put anything. You can leave them plain or you can use varnish and either way, whatever you prefer. When you're doing these kinds of techniques, it's important to feel that you're doing what you want and what you like and how you finish your your art. Okay. I like the effects of both varnish and resin, so either one would look amazing with this particular design. Okay. 
Okay, we've got some tape there that's coming apart. But we'll just put it back underneath there as best we can. And wipe around the sides. That is gorgeous. Okay, it's close up time. You have had to see how pretty these are. Very, very pretty. I'm going to remove my gloves, grab my camera, and bring you in for close-ups. So hold on. Okay, we have our close-up at this time of these two 11 by 14 inch ovals. And we have got the um, lights off and the flash on. You can see the beautiful shimmer and shine and all of the sparkles of these beautiful colors that have merged together, making for a gorgeous abstract design using the flip cup technique. I love flip cups and I think that you can really appreciate the beauty of having your own creativity take form by using them. Look at all those gorgeous cells. Again, the shimmer and shine. All the colors look so amazing. You can focus really good here. See that bronze coming through there, giving it a lacing-like effect. Super pretty. That is our first flip cup that we did. And again, this is with the lights off, flash on. Here's the second one we did, same colors, flip cup method, using um, the same order of colors in our cup. And as you can see how unique the design is, came out a lot different from the other one. Both are very, very pretty. There's beautiful striations in this one. There's gorgeous lacing, shimmer and shine, sparkle all over it. It is amazing. You can see it here, how wonderful that's going to look with resin. All that gorgeous copper. Our champagne color that we created. Along with all these gorgeous colors, the gold, the copper, silver. It's amazing. Super pretty. All right. Thank you so much for joining me each and every time. I do appreciate your feedback, so definitely leave us a comment. Like and subscribe if you haven't. Join me on my Facebook group, Anita White Art. And until next time, keep loving your art. We'll see you on the next one. Bye now.